Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are going to install the Intel RealSense SDK onto the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Yes. Yes, the RealSense cameras have lasers in them. No, you can't put one on your head. We've looked at the RealSense D435 before. Just a quick recap. Here's the camera, USB-C connector. On the bottom, there is a quarter 20 mount. And on the back of the camera, two M3 mounting holes. Let's take a look at the imagers. There are two infrared imagers, one here and one there. There is a laser infrared emitter here. The unit contains an Intel D4 visual processor, and there is an RGB imager. Let's install Live RealSense. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named Install Live RealSense. It even has some handy instructions. Let's scroll down a little bit. During the compilation process, the memory is a little tight here on the Nano. In order to run this script, it's best to enable the swap file. So let's do that first. Here's your little warning. You could also go in and modify the script to only use one job in the make file, but we are going to install the swap file. We are still in the Jetson Hacks Nano account. Install swap file repository. Let's clone that repository. We'll switch over to that repository's directory. And we will install the swap file. And you can see our swap file showed up here in the system monitor. Let's hop back up a directory. Clear this off. Now we are ready to install Live RealSense. Okay, let's grab the repository's address and clone it. Switch over to that repository's directory. And let's install Live RealSense. Installation complete. And here's where it installed everything, the libraries, the header files, and the demo. So let's close up the web browser. Okay, we're ready to patch the Linux kernel and modules, compile the modules and kernel, and install them. Let's switch over to the install library sense directory. There's a little explanation here of what patch ubuntu.sh does. Let's run the script. This will take a while. Installation complete. We need to reboot for the changes to take effect. Let's look at the D435 in our RealSense viewer. Let's switch over to the bin directory. And let's run RealSense viewer. On the RGB camera here, I've cranked up the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Let's turn on our stereo module. We will enable the infrared streams. Turn it on here. And our red nasties are back. In part, that's just because of the resolution of the RGB camera. Let's adjust that. 
Let's crank that up to 60 frames a second. You can see we still have a little bit of lag here. Let's adjust the stereo module and let's put its frame rate up to 60. So that's a lot better. Kind of get a feel for what the performance capabilities are. The recorder that we're using to record the video stream is 30 frames per second. It's slightly better when you look at it on the monitor, but not much. So let's close this. You'll notice that we didn't have any console nasties here. This error message is printed if you do not use a D415 camera. Let's open up our webcam. There we are. So you can see here in a webcam application that it works. So that means that you're compatible with regular webcam types of calls when you do your video coding. To sum it up, if you're using a RealSense D435i camera, you will need to recompile the kernel and modules. Otherwise, the Live RealSense SDK will not recognize the camera. The RealSense depth cameras have three imagers. There is an RGB imager and two infrared imagers. There is also an infrared emitter, which is useful for enhancing low light environments. And because we're looking at a RealSense D435i, there's also a motion module, an IMU. Let's take a look at that. There's an accelerometer stream and a gyroscope stream. Let's close that. If we take a closer look at one of the infrared streams, you can see that there is a laser which emits a pattern of dots. Yes, a laser. Which helps the camera's onboard computer construct a better depth map. The onboard computer takes these two infrared streams, rectifies the images, and then combines them into a depth map. Once the depth map has been constructed, it sends it over the wire to the host. The format is Z16, which is grayscale. You can see here in the RealSense viewer application that we put a false coloring on it. The native size coming out of the imagers is 1280 by 720. However, because the images are rectified, you end up with the most kind of natural size of the image to be 848 by 480. This is the last in our series of installing the Live RealSense SDK on the Jetson Nano. You know the rest of the drill, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. No, you can't put them on your head. No, not just one. You're not putting them on your head. Look, don't make me stop this video. Look, mister, we're going to have to have a long talk after we get off camera.